morning kids, Mr. D. John here. I have an activity for you that I'd like to apologize to you for first, because if you try it, it's probably going to drive you crazy. You're going to spend hours and hours and probably have a lot of fun, but you'll be going kind of loony. So, um, sorry ahead of time. Good luck with it. And for it, you're going to need the following materials. You will need some pans from the kitchen. Make sure you ask ahead of time. You're going to need a bouncy ball. You can use a regular bouncy ball like this, or you can use a golf ball, tennis ball, something that bounces really high. And a box. The activity we're going to do today involves a little mini lesson in science. Um, it has to do with types of energy. <clears throat> the first one we're going to study is called gravity. Gravity um, is um, an invisible force that's pulling on us all the time. Your entire life you've been pulled by gravity down towards the ground. And so what that means for you is that every object that's on the earth is being pulled at that same um, by that same invisible force. And so it explains how this ball, if I drop this ball from a certain height, it will always fall back towards the earth. It explains why when you go out and you try and jump as high as you can, you can only jump so far and then you start to fall towards the earth. If you ever jump and you float, first of all, that would be like amazing. And second, you'd probably be on a place like the moon so that you can, but even on the moon, you're going to come back down towards the moon. So there's, uh, you know, places like space where you can float, but I wouldn't try jumping any places on the earth unless you know you can land nicely. The next two types of energy are potential energy and kinetic energy. And here's the best explanation that I can give for it. Um, I'm going to hold this ball right here, and just me holding it in my hand, this ball has potential energy. As soon as I let go of it, all that potential energy gets transferred, and gravity pulls it down to the earth, and that turns into a different form of energy. As soon as that energy is released in the form of a bounce, then it turns into kinetic energy. Now to explain that a little bit better, watch as I bounce this ball. I'm going to increase or decrease the potential energy and the kinetic energy that it releases, that will be either increased or decreased. Watch the way over my head now. Each time I move the placement of the ball, either over my head or very close to the pan, you notice what happened with the bouncing. As I went higher, the mass of this ball fell longer and hit with more force allowing the kinetic energy to be bigger. Now, we can prove it one other way, which would be kind of fun and cool. I'm gonna drop this ball from a ladder. for the activity. Here is what you're going to try and do. 
you're going to try and set up a system where you take the pans, you put them on your floor, and you're going to try and bounce the ball from different heights onto the pan. And then watch what happens when the ball hits the pan to try and make it do something like go into a box. Okay, so watch how I set this up and you can try it on your own and then we'll talk about what you can change to make this a little bit more fun. You're going to have to do this a lot of times. So now I'm going to try to replace the box with another pan, or a pot in this case. And I'm going to drop it from the same height. Oh, sweet. Now it should do that every single time. If I do it from the same height, as soon as I change the potential energy though, watch what happens. I'm gonna increase the potential energy. I'm gonna bring it up higher. I missed the pot altogether. Too much kinetic energy. Now watch as I decrease the potential energy. I'm going to bring it closer. It doesn't even make it to the pot. So I try and get it back to the same one and it goes right in. It was about this high. This distance is the amount of potential energy it needs in order to hit this pan to this pot into the box. Now the real trick is how many of these pots and pans can you set up and it'll still make it in there. We tried four the other day. Here's my son. Trying four of them. He was actually throwing his at the pan, which makes even greater speed on this mass, more potential energy. So it really skipped off of here. My other son was trying to do four pans, pans and pots, trying to make it go into the box. Good luck with it, and let us see your videos.